everyone. Welcome to Wide Receiver Wednesday. I'm your host, Herman Moore, former NFL All-Pro wide receiver, breaking down wide receiver film from around the NFL. Now, today we're looking at undrafted rookie free agent Khalil Pimpleton, who Detroit Lions fans are extremely excited about right now. How excited? My boy, Micro Mike, contacted me. He says, Herman, there's a guy I need you to break down. I said, well, who is that? I know we're breaking down and we're looking at those that have been around and have roster spots kind of sewed up and, and the fans are pretty excited about it. He says, you know what? The fan base is extremely excited. They're beaming right now about Pimpleton. I said, okay, well, let's do it. Let's break them down. Give you a little bit of background about him. You know, Khalil, many of you already know, he's a smaller guy. He's 5'9", he's 175 pounds, but he's catching attention as a player that we need to watch, the media needs to watch, you, the fans need to watch during this year's training camp. Now, he was primarily a punt returner at Central Michigan, and is it, you know, it's kind of seen as having a, a chance to earn a roster spot in the special team's role because the, the receiver unit position is so deep. And I will tell you this, I've seen so many players, especially wide receivers, even those who weren't wide receivers, they were even on the defensive side, they were primary, whether they're defensive backs, linebackers, that have come on and been able to make it when the, the positions that they are typically drafted for, or they're brought over for in free agency are deep, and they have the depth, and it's gonna be hard for them to, to kind of get in there and get that spot they typically go in through special teams. That's one of the most overlooked areas of opportunity in the NFL. If you're trying to you know, get yourself on a roster, and if you weren't highly drafted, you weren't one of those that were, was on every team's radar, and you weren't highly pursued in free agency, special teams. So I think Pimpleton has an opportunity to do that, but hey, We'll be able to ascertain that and determine whether or not he's going to make that as we see this young man start to go out and make plays, if he makes plays during uh, the, the preseason and during uh, training camp. Now, before we take a look at some of his game film from Central Michigan, make sure you subscribe to our channel by continuing to get those videos you like. You're going to need to hit this button. you got to hit that like button for me, and uh, we'll make sure we continue to serve those up. So let's take a look at some of his film, and then I do agree that the young man has an opportunity to make the team. Is it gonna be at the wide receiver position? It's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be tough. You know, he's a possession style wide receiver. He has the burst, he has the speed off of the ball, the initial takeoff. He has that trigger speed, you know, and that, that twitch motion that will allow him to explode upfield. Uh, I see him as being really a, a receiver that can do clear out routes. Uh, typically, you have speed guys that you want to be that decor because the defense, you have to pay attention. You, can't, you just can't let players just run free. So there's an opportunity for him to be able to be that type of player, but I don't know how he's going to perform against press coverage. Didn't see a lot of press coverage, even in the film that I'm going to show you. Most of it is off coverage, or he's coming through a zone read and he's making plays. Haven't had a chance to scout him to see how he performs on one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, where he performs, but I know he's had some success. You know, he's had 700, 800, 900 yard seasons. And, you know, when you have that time of product, that type of production on the collegiate level, and there's some opportunity that, you know, are you going to take that over and automatically have that type of success at the NFL level? Not necessarily, but there is an opportunity uh, for him to go out and make some plays. So let's take a look at some of the footage that I'm talking about. So as we play this, you know, watching him downfield, he can beat the coverage because he has the speed. He has the ability to make players miss in, in space because he has that, that scat ability that we like to see with some of the smaller receivers. And again, at 5'9", he possesses that. But seeing him get open and finding those spots, the, the Lions are looking for additional talent that will allow them to be able to have contribution, to be spot players. You know, you gotta bring your starters out every once in a while. But as I said before, the key to this player, I know you all are excited about him. Micro Mike, I know you're very excited about him, but he's gotta be able to get out on the field. The only way I see this young man getting out on the field is gonna be through special teams. And eventually, if he can show the coaches over time that he can make plays and that he can earn a roster spot and be a part of the, the dress unit uh, during the game, 
because you know what? This is a team that's full of depth. So that's what I see with him right now. Uh, the opportunity for him to make this roster, I don't say it's slim or none. I think it's going to be what it is, uh, but uh, that's going to be up to him and how he goes out and performs in training camp. So that will do it for today's Wide Receiver Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave me a comment below telling me why you're excited about this young player. And then you can hook me up and help me understand. And I don't have to just take whatever Micro Mike tells me. So that'll be it for this show. I'll see you next time.